Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. I'm Debbie Crown and I'm back again vlogging. <laughs> I'm in a very terrible mood by the way, so that's why my, my like energy is a bit off. But I said to myself, no matter how I feel, come 2023, I'm just going to do what I need to do. So, even though my energy is off, I'm still taking you guys around with me. You guys have probably just seen that I've just got back from the gym. What's the time now? I'm a joke. <laughs> it's just past 7 p.m but to be fair i did wake up late and um, when the nanny got here this morning i gave aziza over to her i didn't get any sleep like aziza's going through sleep regression so um i didn't get any sleep so as soon as the nanny got here i passed it over to the nanny and then i just went and got a few more hours of sleep got up and i just went straight to the gym um with nita and um on my way back from the gym she was just like do you want to go to cinema so I've just done a bit of admin and I'm I'm, I'm doing my lashes tomorrow but it just keeps keeps coming out. But yeah, I'm going to get my I'm going to the cinema now. So I'm about to glue on my hair. This hair is the one that you guys have been talking like asking me about and I keep telling everyone where it's from. It's from my wavy hair. And I was supposed to do a sponsorship with them last year, but I just never ever got to it. This one, you guys. This hair. Why is the sound not there? Let me make it. This is a discovery. This one. Good gracious God. I've seen beauty before, but this is a discovery. Thank Good you gracious there. God. I've seen beauty before, but this is a I've been getting so many people asking me about the hair. I've I've used it for months and months and months and months now. Um oh girl, you're shining. in this one as well. Oh, Let me turn off the sound before I get <laughs> can you guys see the hair? so freaking cute i love the hair i've also used it in a couple of vlogs as well but yeah i'm about to glue that on it's just a five by five um closure wig and literally all i do to glue it on because i want to talk to you guys about what we're doing this week while i'm doing the hair i don't want to like talk through how i'm doing it but um i just literally put down glue three times i put the hair on and then i spray it with the ebon spray and then i put a band on leave it on for like 20 minutes and it is literally melted in i don't use blow dryer or anything it just comes out looking amazing so yeah that's it this is how it looks in the natural state i've had to cut the lace back because i've used it that much so let's hope for the best if it doesn't come out looking good i'm just gonna purchase the hair from them again and do the promotion for them because they've actually sent this to me like a year ago and i just haven't done the promo for them and i've loved the hair and everybody loves it and they keep talking about it so i just thought i have to give them their shout out you know so yeah so today we're gonna go see avatar tomorrow tuesday i've got to tell you guys today is the 26th of december boxing day all i've done today is go to the gym and do some admin which is quite a productive day i guess um tomorrow we're gonna go do our nails and get pedicure and then wednesday we're gonna film some content yeah that's what i'll go for wednesday wednesday i'm gonna film some content and then thursday I'm gonna go to dinner with Shal and Adiola. We haven't all met up in like five years or six years since I started this channel. However long I've had this channel, we have not met up since then. But we have seen each other at influencer events. Um, so yeah, we've seen each other at influencer events and we've obviously like greeted each other. But recently we made a group chat again and we were just like, we have to meet up and we have to catch up. And oh my god, guys, I'm so like nervous especially when it's your fault that you guys break up well it's not my fault that they broke up but obviously initially it's my fault that we broke up obviously for those of you that don't know i was part of another channel we called ourselves meet the patrons they still go by the name shut up patron and adiola patron but i changed mine to my um to my government name well my government name is actually deborah crown but obviously everyone calls me debbie so so this week super busy and then just getting ready for the new year i also need to make my vision board oops 
my room's a mess i need to clean it so i've got this 60 by 90 cookboard and i've already got my delivery of my pictures that i'm going to be putting on there from free prints i ordered mine from free prints it was like it was meant to be like three pounds something but i did pay for next day delivery which didn't come so it came up to like six pounds something but yeah i would suggest to get yours from free print and i just got some glue from asda is this enough is this forward enough considering i've got a massive forehead yeah i think that's forward enough i've already made it one for my phone and for my um laptop display but i also like having one on a cork board that i can look at so i just like having like all my goals and dreams in front of me at all times because that's what motivates me even though really and truly you shouldn't be working from motivation you should be working from discipline but it doesn't hurt to have like motivation in front of you you know i find it so hard to multitask especially when i don't really know how to do hair like that but yeah guys that is the plan for the week i'm gonna check back in with you once i've put this hair on i'm not doing makeup because we're literally just going cinema um and it's a last minute thing can't be bothered to wear makeup This is what I'm wearing and this is how snatched the waist is like this is a size 10 and this is even a bit big for me but if I was to get a size 8 it wouldn't fit my thigh so look it's like riding a butt I'm going to the cinema so I just want to wear something basic I'm gonna go wear a cream coat which I'll show you guys before. I'll show you my outfit in the um, mirror downstairs I'm wearing a push-up bra that's why the titties are tittying right now but yeah I'm just waiting for this to set I'm going to give it like another five minutes. I don't know whether to like style the actual curls because I'm... Let me style it just so I can do this integration properly for them. Excuse this mess. You guys already know I'm a bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I'll show you guys what my bikini body looks like. But this is how the shape is shaping right now. Like, we are a full-fledged size 10 now. Editing Debbie here, you guys. I completely forgot to show you guys the update of my body. I said I was going to show you an update. If you guys want to know more, like if you guys want me to talk to you guys about like um what I've experienced, just comment down below this vlog and I will like ask whatever questions you want. And in the next vlog, I will include the answers to everything you guys have asked me. So if you want to know about scarring, about like my faha. I still get massages to this day. I get um, I get wood therapy as well and cavitation. If you want to know anything, just comment down below. So this is how my body looks. Um, amazing. I'm so glad I did it. And obviously the fact that I've been going gym and doing 12, 3, 30 has been helping more with my mental health than with my body because obviously we're snatched already. <laughs> but um, one goal I do have is to like tone up my legs and my my arms are actually turned already. Ah, this is like both things really old too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. And also, when I get... I'm going to Dubai. I keep forgetting to tell you guys things. I'm going to Dubai at the end of January. When I get back, if I can be consistent with the gym, then I'm going to get a personal trainer so I can really step up, you know. And I might even start Pilates as well and be a little Pilates princess. We will see. But yeah, um, let me wet these curls and use some mousse. The mousse I used is a fogey. It's really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see that. I learned about it from Erica J. <laughs> until she started doing her own brand. That's what she was using. And then I'm just going to use water. Where's my water spray bottle? I don't know. Let me go find it and I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to do perfume now before I forget. The perfume that I'm wearing is this... What's it called? Montal Paris Sensual Instinct. Nita got it for me for Christmas. Absolutely love it. She, like, she... I... Ah! Did I break it? No, I didn't. Um, I was just raving about how nice she smells whenever she wears this. Like, I always rave about it. Guys, I literally sprayed the fuck out of perfume. <laughs> Love perfume. But this smells so good. After Mason Francis, she thinks it smells like um, Mason Francis. What is it? Baccarat Rouge, but it doesn't. 
it smells it has like a similar undertone but it doesn't smell the same i think i'm gonna order a new five by five and then just get my hairdresser to just sew it on for me so that i'm not getting like a new whole wig i just clocked it's probably gonna be cheaper for me to just get a whole new frontal and it's only a five by five so should be super easy for her to do i'm not gonna like um wet it too much more because i'm like i said i'm just going cinema so i don't need it to look like i'm going on the one way but i will still put my mousse and btw guys from where i like um from where i cut the lace i had to make myself new baby hairs and i don't know if it's gonna look good so wish me luck you guys want to see if this melted definitely melted i have done this like 10 times since i've got the wig can you guys see No, you can actually see it. You can see this little cross, but that's not. Let me wipe that so you guys can see that it's really melted. Like, I already did my thing. Start taking bookings. <laughs> it looks really good. I don't know whether to put a bit of powder on and just leave it like this. Like, because I'm not going out, out, out. I feel like I need to work on this a little bit. I feel like it's too long. So maybe I need to cut it. Okay, so I've cut it a little bit. Let's see if this is gonna look good. I'm literally just doing the baby hairs. I have to cut new baby hairs in. Oh. Me as here, you guys. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> now I was talking to you, oh, okay. and then I told them that. You were here. Somebody else coming here. The braid was closed. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot to tell <laughs> you. <laughs> I literally, I was like, Did you know there? the other way around? Um, it kind of directed me. To be fair. Oh, okay. They had the signs. So guys i'm gonna just leave it like this because we're gonna be late but you guys can see them the lace melted if you get it done by a professional your um baby hairs will look way better than mine but i'm in a rush so i gotta go thank you wavy my hair for sponsoring this video i'm gonna put all the links in the description box so you guys to check them out let me go wear my jacket so you guys can see the full outfit for the cinema one second so this church do you normally go every year um i go every sunday oh yeah are they good? Yeah, they're good. I'm trying to look for a new church. Yeah, try it out. I will. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn off my light. Maybe I'll make it a bit better. I'm just wearing this jacket from Pretty Little Thing and Yeezys. Let me ask Nia to show you for you. Yeah, she's in there. Oh. She's eating. So, yeah, guys. Well, my tits are really like titting. I'm wearing this jumpsuit from BLT. Jacket from PLT, Yeezys, Gucci. This camera's so bright. Is oh, it? the light. It's the light. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'll actually talk to you in the car because we haven't really spoken today. Oh, it's cold and this jacket is really jacketing. Like, it's really, really helping. Hold on, guys. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Turned on the brightness of the light for the popo. Oh, the popo gets me. I forgot to tell you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna turn ourselves into the popo. I got bagged, you guys, for speeding. <laughs> I'm so upset about it. About what? This is not um, about getting bagged for speeding. You're not. not I got bagged for speeding. Oh. Because this is not the first time. I had to turn the light off, guys, because I really don't want police. Um. Because they'll probably just stop me, not because I've done anything wrong, just to find out why the hell I've got bright light on and just. I don't want to be disturbed but like I was saying I got bagged for speeding and the police sent a letter this is not my first time last time I got points and I had to do a speed awareness course but this was years and years and years ago this time hopefully it's just the fine and the course speed awareness course and then they just let me go because literally in bold they put oh you could be prosecuted. <laughs> Please. I haven't got a criminal record and I would like to keep it that way. I'm not one of those people that like... I, do you remember the night that it was? It was the night that we went to that stupid... That place. That stupid <laughs> money place. laundering place. <laughs> <laughs> that the food was cold. Fam, everything... I think I got sick, you know, two days later. After that. Yeah, I remember I got sick two days later. Oh my god, shit. Mm -hmm. Imagine if that's what it was. Literally. 
damn we went to this place we got invited by like a, a instagram friend like a mutual um to this shisha private shisha place mm -hmm. and it, there was nobody there first off and then the food was cold what they didn't have shisha mm -hmm. they didn't have shisha the food was cold we asked for takeaway bowls okay let's go and warm it in our house just no, take away then i would take a Bro, that's when I knew it was definitely a money laundering place because they wanted us to post that we had been there, obviously. Our, everything was free. We didn't have to pay for it, nothing. But the fact that they just wanted, they wanted to show that obviously people go there, it's like a, a place that's like, mm -hmm. that's got customers. Definitely money laundering. And the place is so nice as well. They can actually do it as a real business. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do that. But yeah, and then it got sick from it but then on our way home that's where i got the apparently i was speeding because i didn't I, I obviously didn't know the area around my house i obviously know everywhere that there's like speeding and i don't usually speed it was just probably it, like a minor um, yeah it, it, it was a 50 place and i was doing just over 55. 55. Oh, okay usually when you do under like five, five yeah they allow you, they allow you but i was <laughs> the movie theatres. I have a lot of um, American followers. This is what it looks like in London. London town. Should we go out this way? You want to go downstairs? It's just right there. The way out. Lift up the oh my days me are the laziness. <laughs> Fam, the stairs are not... Ah, this girl. <laughs> Alrighty. You want popcorn? Um, no, no, no. I don't. I don't actually. So guys... What do you think of the movie, Nia? Uh, it's alright. I really enjoyed special. it, you know. Really? I actually really enjoyed it, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll give it like a 7. I'll give it an 8. I actually really liked it. It was like so much more um, different than I thought it would be. I yeah. still don't remember the first one. So BTW it up, you guys. This one, you don't have to watch. the. If you've never seen Avatar before, yeah, don't, yeah, don't worry. You don't have to watch the first one to like the enjoy the second one. It's got nothing really to do with the first one so yeah we're gonna go <sighs> i was gonna say i'm gonna drop you but no she parked at my house so i'm gonna go back to mine now i'm so happy i didn't wear makeup so i don't have to take off my makeup this that's like the worst thing for me having to take off my makeup i hate it yeah all right guys i'll speak to you when i get home probably hey guys so it's the next day um so i read in vlog last night but we got in at what time did we get in we got in at 1am we're going at 1am last night so i didn't vlog but it's the next day i'm just about to go to the gym with nita my otd i'm wearing these like navy event leggings they have this mesh thing on the side i'm wearing an event sports bra and i'm wearing this misguided is it misguided missy empire jump on top it's part of like a tracksuit i just put it on so that I can be a little bit more covered i'm gonna stop over at the recycling center before i go to the gym but guys, I'm heated and I have some stuff to tell you guys because I'm actually pissed off. But yeah, if I'll show you guys when I'm going to the gym and just say hello, I'll speak to you guys when we get in the car. But I don't have done like this. I'm so silly. I could have done like this so you guys can see my face properly. But yeah, sure guys, I'm going to speak to you when we get in the car because I'm pissed. I had a minor disagreement with my friend. And I just said, oh, I needed some space from the friendship because previously I had said to her that... Um, and it's so funny because Abdul warned me that she has she does not respect my boundaries whatsoever. And the reason he warned me about this is because obviously there's been other situations, but when I was pregnant, you guys know I was like I was really, really like anxious about whether I was even gonna get to keep my baby or not because I had so many miscarriages. Um and I said I don't wanna have a baby shower because first of all I don't wanna announce and I don't want anyone to mistakenly post something or whatever. Oops, sorry guys. I don't want like people to find out basically that I'm pregnant and then I will now have to be talking about it. Like you, if you've ever had a miscarriage, you know how it is. Like if someone asks you if you're pregnant, you don't want to say yes, you're pregnant because you don't want them to know. And you don't want to say no because you don't want to jinx it or like use power of the tongue or whatever. But yes, I didn't want to have a baby shower and she just kept pushing, pushing. No, you have to have a baby And it's like I've said so many times my reason of why I didn't want to have a baby shower. And like she would go behind my back and holler at Abdul, holler at my mom, holler at 
different people are like say to me oh i'm gonna holler at them i'm gonna do a, i'm just gonna do a surprise for you i'm just gonna do a surprise because you need to have one you're gonna regret it to this day i don't regret not having a baby shower because i know how i felt for why i didn't want to have a baby shower i still don't regret it but yeah now yesterday no a couple of weeks ago i called her like i distanced myself a bit because i noticed and i've always noticed this but i've just never had the courage to say anything because she's one of those like overpowering people i've never had the courage and i didn't want to lose her as a friend because she is a good friend this is just one of her like flaws everyone has flaws so i said to, i called her and i was like you know what fuck it, i can't lose this friendship so let me just call her and tell her the reason why i'm being distant with her and i was like babe like whenever i'm going through something just watch the way and the tone that you speak to me about the thing about because she always has this thing of oh i told you so i told you not to do that and it's with really deep deep things and it's like you can't be saying i told you so in certain situations my friends they know how to advise me and they know how to say i told you so in like a babe like we did speak about this you know like this is my reasonings for why i said but hers is like blatant like yeah i told you so and you listen to me and it's like i'm in the middle of crying like give me like at least two weeks or give me some time to get over it first she's like yeah i'm proud of you for actually speaking up and saying what your problem is and i promise you going forward i'm gonna like watch how i speak and and time and place that's all i'm asking that's all i asked her for just think of the time and place yo like you know sometimes there's something happens in a moment you can't laugh about it but like two years down the line you can roast me i don't care and when we laughed about it we're like yeah 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 shoot time and place anyways to the story of today doing her i told you so again and I'm just like, I was just like, you know what, I'll speak to you later. We were on the phone, I was like, I'll speak to you later, and I just hung up the phone. And before, back in the days, I would just, I would hang up the phone, I will block you, everything, blocker, blocker, blocker. Send me a long paragraph about that was so unnecessary, and I was like, I just spoke to you a couple of weeks ago about, you know, about the way you say things when I'm literally still upset. Like, I'm gonna, I can't remember exactly what I said word for word because I was heated, but I still try to keep it cute. There's a long queue at this second center. Let me tell Nita. So then, my first message after saying hello probably was, was that I just spoke to you about your delivery when I'm going through something. I don't know, blah, blah, who would say, blah, blah, blah. Why would you think it's okay to say blah, blah, blah at this time? I think it's best I take space from this friendship. And she said, oh, in her paragraph, she's like, how she's on my side, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's not about whether you're on my side or not. Your delivery is off. Like, when I'm still in the middle of crying, when I'm still on the ground, you are kicking me in the head. Ah. And then she said girl check your delivery like she and she's like i matched your energy fam i'm literally crying so which energy are you matching it doesn't make sense she sent me another paragraph which i didn't i skimmed it because like you're just you just want to be right and it's not about being right or wrong and she talks about how she's such a great friend which yeah you are a good friend how she's one of my only genuine friends you are one of my only genuine friends but i was like this one no i'm sorry i can't accept it because when I'm in the middle, when you're in the middle of breaking down, I don't kick you while I'm while you're down. I save my opinions unless you ask for it. And when you, I give you my opinions, I give it in a loving way. Like, am I, am I, I don't understand whether I'm like too soft or whatever. And I feel like we're just in different spaces. Like, um, as women, this is long. I've been talking for fucking 10 minutes. Fuck. And I said, I can't accept this aspect of you in a friendship, especially when we've previously discussed it. I never, like I've only recently, I'm not gonna say I never because I've only I've actually started doing it. I only recently started actually speaking to people about what I have a problem with so we can fix things and move forward in a friendship. And I just feel like for you to be so wrong and strong is fucked up as a friend. Like she's focusing on her good sides as of the friendship. I have my good sides of the friendship, but if you came to me and told me that, oh Debs, I have a problem with this nobody that is in my life can ever tell me that they've ever come to me and said that they have a problem with something and i never immediately changed it or if i did it by mistake i'm like oh shit i forgot you said you don't like this even down to me i don't chew my tongue anymore because my old friend Oye, she was like oh that's really annoying like she would say it all the time so i was like shit this really bothers her so i stopped chewing and it was a thing i did from anxiety you guys and i stopped doing it because it bothered my friend fam am i just a psych am i a shit friend or something i don't get it like and i've tried i've tried to say the things in the most polite ways ever and um nita experienced it with me in real time and nita was like i would be pit oh yeah why i blocked her hey i'm so bad at this vlogging thing why i blocked her is because this morning i wake up now my mom was like oh what happened between you and so and so and i was like oh i i told her the other day I told her a couple of weeks ago that I don't like it when I'm like down and she kicks me when I'm down like she, she doesn't say things to me in a loving way when I'm already emotional about something and I go to her as a friend to vent she like it's like she 
digs the knife in more and i'm like i told my mom that like um yeah so i i've just i told her that i don't want to talk to her anymore because like after I, I said that so she said no sorry i can't change like i don't want to be walking on eggshells around my friend that's not what i'm asking you to do. i'm just asking you to watch the way you speak when i'm going through something that's all i'm asking and then my mom was like oh i apologize to her on your behalf blah 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 and i was just like why did she go to my mom in the first place like we have a disagreement between us it has nothing to do with my mom boundaries you don't respect my boundaries as a friend like i don't get it i blocked after that because i was just like you, you just don't respect my boundaries like i don't care if i'm wrong for blocking her either because i pray to god we're nearly 2023 i pray to god to remove anybody from my life that is not meant to go into my next season with me because i know 2023 is a big year for me like 2022 has set many foundations and i know in 2023 that a lot of seeds that i've planted are going to become fruitful and not to say oh i'm going to be up and you're going to be where i left you or whatever but I, I just know there's certain people that can't come with me where i'm going to and i pray to god about it and literally the next day this happens and then you go to my mom like not respect and the funny thing is yeah i i vented to her about another friend going to my mom why do people go to my mom like my mom's gonna beat me or change change my my um, my decision or something my mom's not gonna do nothing about it like my mom's gonna apologize on my behalf because my mom knows that i can be wrong in certain situations and that's literally all that's gonna happen and i blocked you and now and now our friendship is over and for what because you just couldn't stop kicking me when i'm down anyways guys that's what happened and i'm really upset about it and i'm not gonna be friends with her again if she ever needed me for like something i would do it from afar but you're blocked and that's it we're not gonna have no phone, phone calls on the phone anymore i'm not going to your birthday meals you're not coming to my birthday meals we're done as friends and that's it and you can go and tell people she can go and tell people how she twisted it to my mom i actually had to show my mom the screenshots of the messages she, like show my mom that i actually said everything in a polite way because she made out to my mom like i was rude to her or something she, you have to show your counter tax <laughs> okay yeah, she made out to my mom that I was... Go down the right side. Okay, thank you. She made out to my mom that I said everything in like a rude way. And she said to my mom that how I don't appreciate her as a friend. Duh, 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 duh. I was just like, it's not about appreciating you for the good things. I always appreciate you for the good things that you've done. But the one thing that I'm asking you to stop doing, you can't... You're telling me that, oh, that's you walking on eggshells. It doesn't make no sense. Anyways, guys, I'm at the recycling center. Oh, let me go recycle and calm down a little bit i'll switch you guys when we get to the gym guys we're at the gym now i'm with me oh, it's winning. It's winning. <laughs> i feel a bit better now you guys i can't even lie and hopefully the gym will just help me like work my steam off steam off the anger let off the steam that's what i mean i'm so aft you know <laughs> all right here you go to leave for a bit sorry about the mess in the background i'm gonna get that um but yeah it's six o'clock now so it's a bit later and i've got my lash appointment <laughs> i've got my lash appointment at 8 30 so the girl's house is like 20 minutes away from me um and around that time there's probably not going to be any traffic so i will leave the house 10 past yeah 10 past eight to get there on the dock because it's in her house so I don't like coming to people's houses early for my appointment. I'm about, I'm just warming up some jollof rice for Aziza's have for dinner. And I'm gonna make some 
jerk shrimp pasta. I don't know if I told you guys I wanted to make that. So, I've got my shrimp, double cream, mozzarella, um, and some shrimp onion, and some pickles. I normally cook batches and then I freeze them in these tiny containers so like whenever her nannies want to feed her they can just go ah, that's hot. they can just go straight to the freezer and pick whatever they want to feed her so if I make like a bolognese I'll freeze just the sauce not pasta I'll freeze it in the um, container and then they can just make a little bit of pasta for her to have with it yes can she finish this she probably can you know she can she eat a lot so I'm just going to give that to her nanny to feed her. So I still cook like 90% of her meals. They just like do things to supplement whatever I've cooked. And today like before I started vlogging, before I went to the gym, I bathed her, changed her, all of that good stuff. So Usually I'll give her like boiled egg or chicken but there's no egg <laughs> left. And I haven't cooked chicken yet so she's literally just going to have jello fries by itself. But in the afternoon, she, if you're Nigerian, you know what amala is. She had amala and it would do. So she had like a healthy meal. And for breakfast, she had Weetabix. So she can give a pass on the protein tonight, you know? <coughs> and the reason, whenever the nannies are here, nine times out of ten, I will not like chill with them because it, whenever i leave it's like a big scene she just cries and cries and cries so they prefer it if i'm just like away from them doing my thing so i just left it outside on her eye, her eye chair on her high chair and she will feed her let's cook She goes slide right to my side. I know she pulled up with a friend. Then we start off at the band. Oh, to the girl back to my crib. Todd, can you play that again? You guys can't see it, but. This is how it turned out. So the light is making it look washed out, but all my days. Tastes so good. Oh, guys, I was sat down all day. Oh. Oh. I'm actually so tired. I need to put some clothes on in 30 minutes. It is... 7.20 now, yeah, in 30 minutes I'll just put on like any two peas and I'll go and get my lashes infilled. If you guys have made it this one in the vlog, can you please go and follow me on Instagram? I've been posting more on there. Let me come closer to you guys. But now I feel like I've got my ginger back. Like I'm not motivated but I've just started been doing things out of discipline. Even the fact that I literally go gym every day now, apart from Sundays. It's literally just discipline. Like this morning, I didn't feel like going to the gym, but I just said to myself, "Girl, if you want to maintain this this body, you better get your ass up and go to the gym." And especially after I do like morning routine with Aziza, oh, it just feels so long to go to the gym. Like I can't even lie to you guys. Um, I'm about to go to do my infill. This is what I'm wearing. This tracksuit from this tracksuit from fashion but then if you guys remember in one of our hauls and then my crocs my friend made it i'll, just, I'll put her instagram if you guys want to purchase from her because she does these like giblets yeah i'm here at my lash appointment and i'm actually six minutes early even though i left later than i was supposed to leave um, I'm here. I forgot to update you guys. Today actually ended up being a bank holiday. So the post office wasn't open. So we're going to go turn ourselves into the bubble. 
We're gonna turn ourselves in. Oh shit, look at the way I just opened my thing. And I also couldn't go drop my wig off at my stylist because I was too late. So we're gonna have to make sure that we do that tomorrow. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm gonna fall asleep, 100%. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna sleep. We always listen that. to true crime. Who loves true crime, you guys? Like, I never found anyone apart from my last tech that actually loves listening to true crime. It's crazy. But yeah, guys, probably just put a song over this. I'm not gonna let you guys say the whole thing because my thing's actually quite full. It is, isn't it, still? Yeah. Apart from that one, but. We allow that. Yeah. Have you had a lot of clients today? Yes, so I'm happy you won last one. Um, <laughs> I was thinking you're the only person that does such late appointments. I've done 11 p.m. before. Shut up. Yeah. What, like a last minute thing or you just, you put it up there and someone booked last it? Last minute thing, the person begged me to fit them in for the holiday. Oh. I didn't even charge them extra either, I was too nice. No, nah, yeah, that is nice because a lot of people, any Instagram business, you're always charged for like out of hours. Oh yeah, I'm just mug. <laughs> no, I think that's really good customer service, honestly. Yeah, I feel She's, like... she'll come back to you. No, I got into an argument with her when we cut each other off. Are you being serious? Yeah, I don't even argue with people because what's the point? We're too old now. Yeah. Guys, I am just done with my lash. I'm trying to look at it in the viewfinder. It looks really packed right now, but after like two days, it starts looking calm. Um, so I'm just about to go in and I'm going to obviously end up t taking over, looking after these. I'm going to put it to bed now. And, um... But yeah, I'm going to go put Aziza to bed now and I'm probably going to eat more of that jerk chicken pasta because that shit slapped. And I'm going to check back in with you guys tomorrow morning when we're going to the gym. It's so cold today, like, it's raining too. Like, terrible weather, honey. Terrible. <sighs> Good morning, guys. So today is Wednesday the... 28th of December I feel like that time period in between Christmas and New Year's just it all just gets wrapped into one day it's freezing in London today freezing anyways guys off to the gym as per usual um, going to go meet Nita at the gym so I can get a good workout guys <laughs> first of all update I read the police letter properly and it actually says I've got until February the 1st to turn myself in. <laughs> I've got to February the 1st, so I've pushed that down my to-do list. I'll probably get that done tomorrow just because today is already really, really tight for me. I really want to get some short form content done. Can't talk. I really want to get short form content done today. The housekeeper just arrived. Um, I'm late for the gym. Um, I forgot to tell you guys what time it is. It's 2 p.m. Um, my nanny this morning. Sorry that I talk all over the place, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get used to this vlogging thing and I'm going to get it right. Okay? Give me till the next vlog. So it's 2 p.m. My nanny said that um, her alarm didn't wake her up this morning. So she um, basically came like a few hours late. But that's fine because I know she's probably really tired from taking care of Aziza for like this is going to be the third day in a row. Usually I like her having a day off after two days because my daughter is like she's active you need to be following her about and i don't i don't force her to sit down i like her to like get all her energy out so she literally is up and down jumping around all day so i was just like yeah that's fine so i did the morning routine with my daughter gave her breakfast everything um and then the nanny just came the housekeeper came after showed the housekeeper all what i needed her to do all what i needed her to clean i did all the dishes i always did, i don't like them doing the dishes for me so i do all the dishes i don't like them cleaning like our areas with our toothbrushes as well so i do all of that and i move it all into another room and then all she can do is like just disinfect areas and like hoover just little things like that just you know just just does of the place one, you know so yeah that's done and now I'm going to the gym and I'm I'm gonna do the letter tomorrow because today <laughs> I always forget stuff. I was supposed to drop off my and I'm going to that area. Oh should I go back home? I forgot my wig. I'm meant to be dropping off my wig to my hairstylist and then I ordered a steam up which I'm gonna go pick up and I did it to the Argos next to her house so that I'm all in the same area and I can just 
Should I just go? I'm not going back home. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna come back to my area, pick up the wig, shower. I'll shower. I will shower. <laughs> I'll pick up the wig and I will just get the letter because on the way there's a post office and I'll do the police. Um, I'll do the police. I'll turn myself in. I'll turn myself in and I'll go drop my wig off. And I really wanted to get my nails done today, but if I could get my nails done, I might come back and be too relaxed. Because you know when you get a pedicure, you get your nails done, everything. You might just be, no, I can't relax. I just get content out there. Are you dumb? And guys, side note, I have been doing a lot of research, talking to my YouTube partner manager, like people in-house, the YouTube, you know, the YouTube offices, yeah? And I've got some tips for you guys that I've learned that I'm going to be using for my channel. Because you know people do videos and they give such generic advice. I also watched another girl's, um, video that gave this advice a couple of days ago so i'm like yes this is actually real tea guys make sure you're posting short form content to youtube they're really really pushing short form content and everyone that's been posting it regularly even um an, a big uh, what's it called what do they call these people people that do food videos this you watch terry ann's kitchen even she told me she was like babe you need to be doing shorts she told me i watched that video and now somebody in the youtube offices are t is telling me that if you post a lot of um shorts on youtube your channel is gonna grow like they're pushing um short and when people watch shorts and if one of your shorts go viral or whatever and they don't even need to go viral terry ann said that she's just been getting bare subscribers just from shorts and then the other girl said that when people watch her shorts they go and watch all of her videos like her actual long form content so videos that were getting only a couple of thousand views some were even on hundreds they're on millions of views now and sis is on 200k subscribers from 10k subscribers in a year okay i've been trying to get to 200k from 197,000 for like six months so guys i'm definitely 150 percent gonna be doing short. if you see my shots make sure you go to watch it make sure you like it make sure you show some love and if you're a youtuber make sure you start posting shorts if i find anything else out because you guys know that i'm part of the um creator class of 2023 and they're gonna be teaching us how to obviously grow our channels everything that they teach me i'm gonna come and tell you people we are all gonna grow together <laughs> by fire by force i'm gonna come and tell you guys everything you teach me it's not in my contract that i can't teach other people so we're gonna grow together i'm like two minutes away from the gym i want to listen to an asha Kes song to you know ginger me a little bit i'll see you guys probably after our workout because i'm sure you're probably bored of the gym content yeah So guys, we're doing 12, 3.30 now. I have 10 minutes left. I'm watching a vlog. This is how you're going to achieve it every time. Just distract yourself by watching something. I only have 10 minutes left. Mia has 10 minutes left. Um, and we decided that after, we're going to go shower and then obviously run my little errand. And we're going to go prime work and see if we can get some new gym sets. I forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing today. Just a little green number. It's not easy. We're back from the gym guys and I've had a shower. I've just put my hair in a messy bun. I'm wearing this dress from Primark. I love Primark. Gucci bag and like a matching print Gucci slippers. It is cold but um, I'm literally going back in the car to help me out. She'll jump in the car and we'll go to Primark and we'll go in Primark, go back in the car. I'm not going to spend time outside, that's why I'm not bothering to wear a jacket or weather appropriate clothes. What is this? What is it, a phone case? No, I think it's just like a little, maybe it can be my gym bag. Love I love glitter. Sparkly stuff, yeah, I love sparkly stuff. <sighs> oh, I wanted to be bright. Bright colors. Oh, look at that one. That's cute. The bright pink one up there. Shorts. Yeah. Super cute. I love that. No, not that. This one. How cute, you guys. So, so cute. And I like this. There's silky stuff on the back, and that's what it usually is. I like this as well, you know. Cat Slater. <laughs> Oh yeah, I that's like nice this. as well. Like the but the thing is, I don't like um, 
spaghetti. Omelet, now. yeah, because of my stretch marks. I don't like that. I get this. Oh, my friends have a jump party. Oh, really? Yeah. When? Um, oh, look at 4th of Jan. Yeah, she even said black or pink. So I'm going to get look. both. I'm saying obvious. seven quid. What? When I wear nice, oh, you look nice. <laughs> this is nice. And look, it's an arm. It's a straight leg PJ. I'm going to get this. It's seven quid. Come on, can't beat that. Where's small? So small. Where's that small? Oh, look. Oh, someone to get a part. Well done. Oh, this is cute, Nia. What are you... Nia saying this is not cute. This is cute. This makes it cute. Should I just get medium, you guys? What are you talking about, Nia? So you're not going to get this? So we can match? This is cute. I'm getting it. But I really wish there was a size small. Oh, there's a small over there. But what if it doesn't fit my big bum? Sorry. <laughs> You actually just interrupted well, the like, woman. I don't understand. Did they, was, was get pajamas? Super, super cute. present or something. Mm. What? Just to wear in the house. To gym? No, to wear in the house. No, no. Why have they got it on this side? It's really weird. But they haven't really got much gym stuff. No, they haven't. Mm -hmm. How much are they as well? So I think I'm just gonna have to order from Shein because mm -hmm. Shein have a lot more. The way my thighs are set up, I definitely can't wear this. But I want colorful things like these colors, like pink, blues, you know, because mm -hmm. it'll motivate me to go to gym <coughs> if I look good. Do you like this? No. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. The color's not picking up, but it's a green. It seems like what I wore yesterday. Oh, I'm gonna get the blue bra. So cute. But this doesn't look like it's supporting. Yeah, you know the ones from um, what's it called? From where? What, what's the name again? Is that theirs is actually really good, you know? But they're sports bra. Yeah, that's what I've been wearing to gym. I'm gonna get this one. But this size six. Should I get 12 to 14 or should I get the 6 to 8? Mm. Six, I, I, don't think six to, I think 12 to 14 is too big. Yeah, I'll try 6 to 8. 10 to 12 is better. Yeah, oh, get that. <laughs> and then let me get the bra. That one definitely has to be like a small size. Sorry, am I here? It's okay. <laughs> 10 to 12 would be too big for my top half. So I need like. Wait, but I'll just get them forward. I'll just get them I don't forward. think that's actually a 10 to 12, is it? Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, a small. small, yeah. I don't know why they go like that. Jim, Jim, where? They're interesting. Get, oh. I'll get them to oh, If it doesn't. Wow. Could be alright. Yeah. I do have yeah. like, big tits. Oh, should we get yeah. this green? Yeah. What size is it there? 46. Too small. Nice one. I want the right things, you know, to make me want to exercise. If I'm good, I'll, I'll go to the gym. Can I have a bag, please? Thank you. Let's put it on. And you? Cashier number three, please. Cashier number six. That's what I said. I just clocked. <laughs> oh, good, guys. So we are at the checkout now. I'm going to we're going to go try um, Sierra Republic. I don't even know. Sierra Academy. Ah, Sierra Academy, not Sierra Republic. <laughs> Where's Sierra Republic? Is that in Lagos? Chicken Republic is in okay. Lagos, yeah. But yeah, I picked up a couple of PJs. I only found one gym set, and then I just saw a couple of bits of lacks and some socks. I'll show you guys when I get home. But yeah, you guys. I'll probably speak to you guys when we get to the Suya Academy. And I hope it's actually nice because Nita said it was the nicest Suya in the no, whole no, of London. No, no, no. TikTok said. TikTok said that Suya Academy is the best Suya in the whole of London. So <laughs> we're going to go and try it and we'll see. And I'm going to let you guys know whether you guys should get to try it or not. Suya Academy. Oh, wow, it is packed, you guys. Best what? Scene, it smells good though. Where's the line? 
Are you guys wait? Are you guys in a queue? Are you ordered? Where did you order down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no toothpick in here. None. There's no fork, no nothing. So they gave us tissue. And last suya. one, tissue last one, this suya. <laughs> Can you rubbish here? This is what it looks like, you guys. It looks like suya, it looks okay. Let me put the light on there so you guys can really see. We got beef suya. That looks all oh mine. Tozo. Yeah, we got um, tozo. Oh, taste test with my hands. God bless this food in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Cold. Mm -mm. But nice. Oh no, this is better than um Ade's. Than Ade's. Ade's to ya. Ade's is nothing. The Ade's is not ya. No, that just no. meat with pepper. No, it's actually they try to do it, but it's not it. This is nice. Angels better than this one to really? me. Really? Hundred percent. There's no pepper. Really? This is spicy for me. For you? This is spicy. Angel has if actual. Want, pepper I wish I had the pepper. I even wanted to tell the store, but I didn't want to embarrass myself in that shop. Yeah. This is nice, but. Not for me to come back and get it. Uh, but it's closer to Nigeria. Uh, I've been suffering with Addis. It's closer to Nigeria, yeah. The only reason I prefer Angel is because of the pepper. Mm. Oh, this is good though. But I guess for them to appeal to a wider range of people, they mm. had to do it like this. You can add more pepper though. It's nice, I won't lie. Like, it's worth it for you to try it one time, but I'm not going to be going back. Only because of the customer service. Mm -hmm. We stood there for a while before we knew where to go us, even yeah. order they never even said hi to us or, or come on order over here like so unorganized and then it's sort of long for the food to come yeah but well, suya takes long in general to be fair not really not in angel really like fresh suya maybe the shrimp true. true takes a bit long true i won't lie the customer service put a bad taste in my mouth yeah. and that's why i'm not but the suit is nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. You go back? I don't know if I'll go back just because of everything. Yeah. But I understand why people on TikTok are raving about it. Yeah, it's close to Nigeria, I won't lie. It feels like road size here. Yeah. I want to show you guys what I got from Primark. I hope this is a good angle for you. Let me move you a bit more so you guys can see me like more in the center. The bed. Set up with. I only got one bag and everything in this bag actually came up to 70 quid so not bad. Got these fluffy socks. Don't know if you guys can see it. No, the way the light is shining. Okay, you can see it better from afar. I got these fluffy socks, only two pounds. And I got in this cool um blue and lilac colour. Just because it's just always cold in london and then i've got that cute pj set that i was showing you guys absolutely love it because literally all my gym jams they just don't fit me anymore okay so i got long socks and i got trainer socks both in white and i'm sure i've also got black trainer socks as well yeah i got black trainer socks as well i've got another brown pajama set but it's not the same as this one this one has like a pattern on the top, whereas the other one doesn't have a pattern on the top. It's just plain, but it kind of has the same kind of vibe going, but it's different. Then I got, <laughs> I got a friend's pajama set. All of this I got in a size small and I got this because I've got my mugs, my central perk mugs. I don't know if you guys have seen them when I'm drinking tea. I drink tea so many times a day. Then I got these cargo really cute cargo skirt and it's got this split at the back so freaking cute how much was this it says 13 pounds but i'm sure it was on sale unless it was just there by mistake and let me see no it was definitely on sale it was it was seven pounds <laughs> it was seven pounds it has this cute like drawstring thing I got it in a size 8, only because of how small my waist is, and I'm a 10 on my thighs now. Then I've got this bodysuit, and it's got, it's really slinky. It's got this rouging 
in the front and it's like a deep v so i'm gonna have to wear like a plunger bra with it long sleeve super cute i'm probably gonna wear this with like jeans and use it to go out to dinner one day just like a girl's dinner and drinks type thing and then i've got the the workout set i was showing you guys in blue i got this in a size small as well and it's got this crisscross at the back i love the color i'm gonna wear this to the gym tomorrow super super cute i just feel like when you have cute gym wear you just feel more motivated to go to the gym when you look good you feel good so yeah that's how i've got all of this was 70 pounds are you crazy that's why i love primark so much you will always catch me in primark good morning guys can you guys see me it's quite sunny this morning it is thursday the Thursday the 29th of December off the gym with Nia it is 8 minutes to 10 the gym is around that distance from me anyways but there is a roadblock so I might not get there exactly on time but yeah we decided <laughs> we have no choice but to go to gym early today we need to start cultivating the habit of just waking up and working out um, obviously the last few days um it was beyond my control but the nanny slept over like i said so she has got aziza and she's doing aziza's morning routine with her and in the afternoon she'll get a couple of hours break because apple's got to take aziza to a doctor's appointment so yeah i can get on with my busy day today what have we got in store for today i am going to go get my nails done and get a pedicure I'm gonna go do that because my nails just look horrible they are like so overgrown i don't know if you guys can see okay i yeah, see yes they are so overgrown on the way to the nail place i'll drop off the letter at the post office i wanted to do it on the way back from the gym but i didn't get a chance to fill it in so i'll make sure to do that so that, that is off our to-do list because i've been on the to-do list for the whole week and we just haven't gotten to it and then when I get back from the nail place, I will I'll start shooting my content. I'll get ready and I'll get ready straight when I shoot my content because if I rest, I probably will procrastinate until evening. And the, um, our dinner reservation is at 7.30. So yeah, it's only short form content, which doesn't take me that long to film, but I would rather get it done and out of the way and my makeup will already be on anyways so yeah I'm sorry that I'm like <laughs> in a bit of a not hyped mood but I didn't get much sleep at all I am exhausted but you guys know we didn't we didn't I need more sleep we don't work off of motivation we work off of discipline I did not want to go to the gym but I said yesterday to her that I was coming to the gym at 10am so when you say something oops, what are you gonna do make sure you do it I left the gym at 11 it is now 12 I've been home I've showered and I just put on that tracksuit again that I went to go get my lashes done in is this gonna stay like this judge me if you want but I only wore it for like an hour I only wore it for a couple of hours the other day um but i didn't feel like it was clean enough to put back in my back in my wardrobe but it's not dirty enough for me not to wear it again and for me to wash it so i wore it again judge me if you want i don't care but yeah guys we're off to go turn ourselves in can you guys see that i am literally i'm pissed off that i have to even do this i don't know if you guys can see i've got to send it to the metropolitan police they want to lock it girl huh? Oh my god. I'm just playing you guys. I just pray they just give me a fine and I have to do the speed awareness course again. And I hope that's just the end of that matter. Yes. I've been trying to call the nail shop that I want to go to. It's all the way in Eltham, um, which is like half an hour away from me. But they give it the best pedicures. That's the only reason I'm going there. But while I'm there, I will get my um, buy up redone get the best pedicures like you know what i was saying to nita the other day like i will literally travel for good customer service they also give amazing customer service and like quality work i will always travel no matter what yeah 
so that's what we're about to do guys let's think past that i'm missing on my to-do list i'm gonna check my to-do list when we get to the nail shop when i'm just like pressing my phone I really wish I brought my airpods but I completely forgot them. I don't even take them gym anymore. I literally watch my vlogs on the treadmill on loud but everyone else around me has their um, headphones in so it never really matters but I really should keep a pair in my car so that I always have, I always have them. I'm gonna have, oh there's a post box right there. Fuck it, let me stop. Let me stop and climb this pavement that way I don't have to go all, all the way to the post office I'm gonna use this post box give me two seconds guys let me go and post this oh why is he guys I can tip that off my to-do list so now let me try and call the nail shop again and if not I'm just gonna show up there Yeah, so um, let me try and call them one more time. If not, I'll show up. And if they're busy, then I'll just walk to one of the ones next. Yeah, their phone is just always busy. So I know. Um, is anyone free to do buyab and a pedicure? Yeah, you can have it done. Um, how long does the wait? Two minutes. Okay, thank you. so clean i had to tip them like in the uk we don't do tipping how you guys do in the us but this is the only place apart from if i go to a restaurant and there's like a service charge or whatever unless there's like you no know, service charge or i like that i have exceptional service from someone this is pretty much the only place that i tip anyways guys i'm about to go home now and Abdul and Aziz are still not home yet. I'm about to go and just eat. I'm gonna have the last bit of the jerk shrimp pasta that's left. That's how I eat, by the way, guys. I make like a big pot of food one day and it will last me. She had never put that down. I don't know what we're from here. And it will last me for a few days. Like, yeah, that's how I eat. I've got a video going up tonight, Fashion Over, um, inclusive haul, guys. Go show me some love on that video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so I need to fill in the description box and stuff for that and then I'm gonna go to dinner with Shola and Adiola super nervous you guys I don't know why these girls have seen my vagina before why am I nervous to go it's because we haven't chilled in years crazy it's like everyone's changed everyone's grown up we're just not the same as we used to be so it's crazy um and another thing that really annoyed me today guys I sat down to get my nails done and I realized my Fitbit isn't on so now I was already on like almost 6,000 steps and it's only 230 right now so I would have got at least a good 1,000 steps in and I would have definitely hit 10k, 10K steps today oh, man. so annoying as soon as I get in I'm gonna slap that shit on but I'm gonna have to take off when I'm doing content anyways but yeah thoughts in my mind I'll probably check back in with you guys when I'm getting ready to film. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm getting ready to film. It is a little bit later. Um, I ate the last bit of the jerk shrimp pasta that we've been eating all week. And I'm just about to do my makeup. And I'm not gonna film me doing my makeup just because my makeup is basic. But if you guys want me to film me doing my makeup in the next vlog, let me know and I will, but I just feel like it's so basic. I do the same makeup every single time. I'm just watching Gina Jane. Gina Jane, I think that's how you say her name. I'm watching her vlog. She's the one that's inspired me to like start vlogging. So 
if she ever happens to watch my videos, I will make sure that I comment and tell her that baby. Inspiration. She really inspired me to start vlogging. Like I love like Aaliyah's face. I love Kyra Omnique. I love Peyton Charles. These are all weekly vloggers, by the way, guys. Yeah, those are my favorite. Those are the ones that I watch on rotation and Gina Jain. But yeah, Gina really motivated me to just vlog anything. She said that even if you think that what you're doing is boring, your followers, they'll probably just enjoy literally looking at you doing the most mundane things. And I was just like, that is so true. I, I, don't, I don't mind watching her or Peyton or Kyra or Elia. I don't mind watching them just like drink iced coffee. And talking about what's happening in their lives so i'm just like i might as well just film even if it's only like 1000 people that enjoy watching what i'm getting up to i'm just gonna film it anyways because it's not taking anything away from me the only part that's gonna be work is editing but that's only a, like a couple of hours a week but yeah it's actually like something to do for people that actually enjoy you and your personality you know so if you're wondering why all of a sudden I've just started vlogging everything, that's why. And if you guys can see my makeup, it, I just the same shit <laughs> that I normally do. Um, I just put a band, I put a bit of ebon spray on the lace, a bit of powder, and then I don't watch my messy dressing room, and then I just put the ebon spray on top. Let's see if it made any difference. Yeah, it did on this little bit but i think it looks way better let me just use a bit of powder to like you text the girl the hair girl just in case okay so you when you drop the hair just to tell her like you dropped it no she knew i was coming i told her i'll oh, be okay. there like same and my name's in it okay yeah ah that's i don't know if she doesn't find my hair she'll give me a new hair <laughs> i told her i was coming look guys it looks amazing I hope the lighting is not too like washing it out. I'm just gonna wear some studs and then Nita's gonna help me shoot some content. I'll leave you guys here to watch us shooting the content. And if you guys wanna know where I get anything from that I use, like my tripod, lighting, anything like that, I'll put it all down in the description box for you guys. What song do you think I should use for? Should we look for songs before we start all of this shit or what do you think? No. Cause I'm thinking of the. Well, no, you can't. You're not gonna mouth the songs. So. No, 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 no. But I like having footage that kind of goes with the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which bag do you think? It's over. Oh, you wanna do silver? Thing with me? I see. And silver things. Yeah, oh, yeah, actually, silver. Mm -hmm. so let me. I'm. I'm looking in the things. I need to look at them. Yeah. Oh, let me do it from like here. Yeah. Does it focus? No. That's a bit weird. Yeah. Let me just. Guys, I am running late, but I think they're probably running late as well. But this is what we're wearing. Just this black, like, don't know the word, but really tight dress from Primark Bodycon. I'm going to carry my YSL Lulu bag. And I'm going to wear that um, coat with the fur here and fur on the wrist from Miss Guided that I have. And I'm going to wear my Gucci Espid rules. I'll show you guys when we get downstairs in the mirror, but... This is me. I'm about to leave out. These ones. Really subtle. But still. Good quality, you know? Yes. You can't see the full effect because I'm not wearing the jacket now. But I'll still show you guys in the mirror anyways. I'm here guys, I didn't know there was a fun fair here at Blue Water, you know, and there's even ice skating. 
why did I not know this? I could have come here. I'm gonna invite the girls, like all the size of your size girls and a couple of my friends and see if we can come down here before the end of the first week in Jan because I'm sure they're gonna like take it away from the first week in Jan. Oh, it's freezing you guys. And um, my dress keeps riding up as well. I'm trying to make my, my light not as bright as it is so that people don't stare at me, but it's not really working. But yeah guys, it's freezing. I'm about to go look for the restaurant. ZD. I haven't had it in years. And funnily enough, I think the last time I had it Thank was you. with Shola. I think she's like obsessed with ZZ. Um, but yeah, I really like their, especially their starters. I really like their starters. Oh no, actually I've had it. I've had ZZ with Abdul when I was preggers. Yeah, you guys. I'll let you guys know when I'm with the girls. Hey guys, I'm just having, well, Abdullah's having cocktails. I'm trying to pick what to try. Some express. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I remembered. Shola used to love them, right? Because we used to come here a few times. In the Hertfordshire. We were in Hertfordshire. Well, do you know what? I love okay. the quality of G7X, you know? It's actually good. Yeah. Right. It's so it's good bad. too, though. I love it. Okay, let's go. Mm. Mm. It goes straight away. Okay. After this. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Are we, we, are we, are we are that bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Was that okay? Let's watch it back. Yeah, watch it back. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm going with Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> We're back home, you guys. That went really, really well. Like, I was so nervous, only because Adil has been on the Mobos, on the stage of the Mobos, presenting awards. Shola is a big, big lawyer now. I was like to myself, oh my God, what if it just doesn't feel the same? And what if they've changed so much and I can't be myself? But as soon as we saw each other, guys, it was just like we'll be back at university bantering we were just talking about all the stupid stuff that we've ever done <laughs> we were so who did we think we were in university please but it was fun though can't even lie and we're just talking about how immature we were in the way that we dealt with our breakup <laughs> and how dramatic we were ridiculous but you live and you learn and I, I genuinely feel like everything happens for a reason god wanted us to split up so that we could grow individually you know and we all have we've all grown in different ways it's crazy i'm just eating this leftover garlic bread and pesto bangs it's not on the menu but i asked them to give it to me like that bangs mm. Why did I have it the first time? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna close off this weekly vlog here only because the weekend I've got a lot to do for starting from tomorrow. So I'm gonna close it off here. Oh, this girl pooed. Now I've got to go wipe shit. Oh, welcome to my glamorous life. Oh, Azusa, man. I was having a fantastic day. Now go wipe your ass. Oh, that stinks, man. Let me close off this vlog. Anyways, you guys. I'm going to have to love you and leave you. Comment down below if you enjoyed this vlog. If you want more vlogs, I'll be happy to do it for you. Bye, God's grace. I'm picking up the camera again tomorrow to vlog a weekend vlog for you guys. I have a very busy... Oh, yeah. 
it's New Year's. That's what I wanted to do. A weekend vlog. You tune in for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come here. Thumbs up, you know, all of that. Support your girl. Guys, don't forget to always work hard and slay even harder. And I'll speak to you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Thank you.